And I know there are some people, C.S. Lewis in The Great Divorce uses the word heaven to denote very explicitly in that book uh, a very concrete reality which is like this world only much, much more so, harder, tougher, stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and he uses the word heaven or deep heaven as a way of talking about that. And I think there's one line where he says, call it heaven if you like, but it's actually much more like this world. And I, I would just say that in the light of my pastoral experience, my listening to sermons, my doing liturgy, my uh, all the hymns which have been written, um, you know, abide with me, fast falls the evening tide, heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. Um, that, that's the stuff that many of us were brought up on, and I have had to go through a major revolution in my own thinking, generated by a belief in the bodily resurrection of Jesus, and thinking, what does that actually mean? You know, how can you have a bodily resurrection if you're in a disembodied heaven? What's that about? Um, the other person, interestingly, I've never met him, I don't know him, but some of you will know um, uh, an American pastor called Randy Alcorn, A-L-C-O-R-N, who has written a string of books about heaven, um, but by heaven he means what I mean. Um, when I talk about new heavens and a new earth combined. Um, I think it is still misleading in our culture to use merely the word heaven to denote that very this worldly, um, uh, transformed this worldly, heavenly this worldly um, reality, but, but he does, and fair enough. You know, these words are slippery.